Why Hashem is stopping us? Because He don't want us to damage ourselves. If now you're going to receive things that you don't have the vessels for them, they're going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. You're going to lose your faith. So you're going to have a million dollars, but you're going to lose your faith. So you're going to be a righteous, so-called righteous, but you will not going to be disconnected from your rabbi. So you're going to have a house in Jerusalem, but you will not going to stay in the yeshiva. So Hashem rather for you, that you're going to take your journeys, that you're going to have more time to spend in humility, that you live far, that you're not in the yeshiva in Shabbos, that you cannot come every day to Shachrit, that you don't have the money to give charity and tzedakah like that you want, and on and on. And by that humility, you receive the vessels to contain the light forever. A light that's going to produce something, not light that's going to break the, your tiny vessels that you have now and going to ruin you and your family. Hashem doesn't want to ruin you. Hashem wants to build you, to build you forever. That you're also going to be endless, that you're always, always, always going to be able to contain the light of Hashem and to hand it to others. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.